you here this morning. If you come down, I want to show you a few things. You guys, can you come down? And just as you're coming down, I would like to tell you a story about a family. Because when we come to the communion table, one thing we remember is that Jesus was all about family. Jesus surrounded himself with disciples, didn't he? And at the end of their walk together, and scholars tell us that in about three years that he walked with his disciples, at the end of that walk he said, I don't want you to call me master anymore, I want you to call me friends. We are now brothers and sisters in his family. So when we take communion, we remember that important teaching that we are all family. So I want to tell you a story about a family that all lived in the same house. Mom lived in this house. Where are the kids? Did they come down? Oh, they're coming. They're on their way. <laughs> now, this family loved each other very, very much, and they sang together in the house. But because they were different, and they were different ages, they sang different kinds of songs. Come on, just have a seat anywhere here. I'm going to show you something in just a minute. So mom from this family had gone to Malawi on a mission trip. And mom and this family loved songs from Africa. She loved God very much and she loved her family very much. And when she sang songs about God, she liked to sing songs from Africa that she learned when she went to Malawi. So she sang this song when she praised God. Because that's what he grew up on. 
So when Dad sang songs of love to God, he sang them in that style, because that's just, that's the way he grew up. something to show you. You've been very, very patient. You're going to have to stand up and take a little walk with me, because I would like to show you the stained glass windows that maybe you've never even noticed before. Have you noticed the stained glass windows? Yeah? Have you taken a close look at any of them? I'd like to go on this side first and show you a few. You guys, are you awake? You doing okay? Okay. Do you know that back in the day, a lot of people who came to church couldn't read? And so what they did was they put the stories of Jesus on windows so that when people came into church, and they couldn't just pick up a Bible and read it because they couldn't read, they could see the stories about Jesus on the windows of the church. And that would remind them of who Jesus is. I want to show you a few of these stained glass windows. How about this one first? Did you see this one? See Jesus holding the lamb? And underneath it it said, He leadeth me beside the still waters. Isn't that amazing? Look at the colors in that. That window reminds us that there is a presence of God that even though we can't see, it's right beside you all the time and it will lead you to good places when you're having a hard time. When the disciples followed Jesus, they wanted to know where he was going to take them. And Jesus said to them, we're going to take you to the kingdom of God. And they thought that was very exciting. And as soon as Jesus said that, it was though he was making something or building something that was going to turn into the kingdom of God, even though they didn't know where it was yet. Look at this other stained glass right beside. You see that one? You see them? What's, the, what's that man holding? Is that, do you think that's Jesus on this stained glass on the side? Do you see what he's holding? What does it look like to you? It looks like a lamp, doesn't it? The words underneath that say, I am the light of the world. 
And we remember that when we're going through difficult times and dark times, sometimes our lives are, are it's, it's almost like we can't see in front of us. It's so dark. And Jesus said, I'll, I'll light your path. I am the light of the world. Isn't that a beautiful window? Have you ever noticed that before? And the disciples said, yeah, but what about the kingdom of God? And Jesus says, I'll show you. I'll show you the kingdom of God. Look at this one here. Come over here, the middle window. The words say, it is I, be not afraid. And you see, there is a man in the water. Do you see that man in the water? He looks like he's sinking. And we remember in that stained glass the story of when Peter started to sink in the deep water. And Jesus said, there's nothing that will ever hurt you when I'm here. And he took his hand and he pulled him up out of the water. It is I, be not afraid. Now here's the amazing thing. Jesus then said to his disciples, go and do likewise. Go and do likewise. And they said, but how am I supposed to be the light of the world? You're the light of the world. How am I supposed to come up alongside people and help them like the Holy Spirit does? How am I supposed to help people pull people out of deep water they're sinking in like Jesus did? Jesus said, I'll show you how. Let's come over and see this stained glass window. I'll show you how you can be the light of the world. I'll show you how you can come up alongside people and help them. And so when Jesus walked with his disciples, he never walked by anyone that needed any help. If there was anybody here that needed help and Jesus walked by them, he would help them and he would notice them. I want you to see this stained glass window on this side. Because the disciples wondered, how is it, Jesus, that we can go and do likewise because we're not you? How can we be the light of the world? How can we come up alongside people who are really struggling and help them? I love these two stained glass. They go together. It looks to me like Jesus teaching the disciples, doesn't it? And we remember in that picture, the disciples were ordinary people, just like you, just like me. They weren't special when they met Jesus. They were fishermen and just normal people. This stained glass here is the one I want you to see. Do you see this one? Let's go on this side so we can see better. Jesus has his hand on the head of a little girl. And there are words under that. Did you see the words yet? It says, let the little children come on to me. When Jesus blessed the little children, he reminds all of us that he loves children very much, but he loves all the little ones of the world. Children are a symbol for all the little ones of the world. And Jesus said, go and do likewise, and you can be the light of the world. Let's go back this way. And you can help pull people out of deep, sinking water. And the disciples said, but Jesus, you said you were going to show us the kingdom of God. And the whole time it was though Jesus was making something as he taught and as they walked. And Jesus said, this is how you can become the light of the world. That's the greatest heart in the world, isn't it? <laughs> it was supposed to be ours. I'm going to do this better in the second service. When Jesus said, I want you to be the light of the world, I want you to come up alongside people and help them. Jesus said, just come to someone's life and love them. And that's how you can be the light of the world. And that's what we remember when we take communion, that there's nothing more important than love. God's love for us and our love for each other. Thank you for coming up and walking with me. And there are many more stained glass windows. But sometimes you should take, take a moment and, and look at the windows they remind us of a lot of stories of who Jesus is. Okay, you can go back to your seat, and in just a few minutes we're going to have our communion together.